One of uh, my favorite stories in Scripture is the story of Moses and his father-in-law Jethro, in which Moses is actually complaining about the amount of work that he has and the uh, complaining of the people. And Jethro uh, suggests to him that he has to do his work differently. Jethro acts as a coach, if you will, for Moses. Another story that we might look at in Scripture is a time in which um, Jesus uh, receives uh, word, news from the disciples returning from their ministry about the things that they saw and they did, and they asked Jesus about this and that. And, and what Jesus does is to come alongside with them and talk with them about how they might do things differently uh, and how they uh, might see uh, the interactions in the world uh, in, in a, different, a different way. So I uh, offer those two stories because that is the work that you all are embarking on as coaches uh, for the Diocese of Texas. You're actually making some space uh, to provide that uh, discipleship, that collaborative work of coming alongside another person uh, as they make their journey. Uh, the work really is a work of coaching, not problem solving. And so as you begin to think about that, uh, I hope that you will engage in the art of curiosity uh, and in the art of noticing. Well, what's that? And asking lots of questions, but also pointing out and saying that is interesting over there and raising their sight so they can see some of the things that they don't see. These are two qualities that both Jethro uh, and Jesus in their relationship with the people they are coaching uh, undertake. I want to say how grateful I am for becoming part of the cohort. I'm grateful for the time and the energy that you intend to spend together uh, in this work. And I'm grateful for the work that you are doing in the wider diocese. Uh, as you come along and do this work, we ourselves are living into our vision that we crafted in 2020 about trying to change our own pedagogical model from being a specialist that knows where things are uh, and how to do things and what should be done uh, to an organization of collaborative mutual learners. So again, thank you so much for your work.